Hi all, in this video, let's discuss about difference between NPM install, in short NPM I, and NPM continuous integration, NPM CI. So let's discuss the difference between these two. So we, from NPM V6, from the NPM version six, we got a new command NPM CI, continuous integration. So let's discuss one by one the differences between NPM I and NPM disk CI. So NPM I, what does this NPM I does? It will go to the package.json. It will take package.json as a source of truth. It will go to this file and it will install all the dependencies and dev dependencies. So this is the first command we used to do when we take the any of the React or Angular repo into our local. So it will take NPM I would be the shortcut for NPM install. It will take the source of truth from package.json. Whereas coming to NPM CI, so NPM CI is NPM continuous integration. So it takes packaged log JSON as a source of truth. So it means it will pick this file and it will install the exact versions which are available in this package log.json. So that's the first difference between package JSON, uh, NPM CI and NPM I. So the second difference is we can do NPM I has a capability of writing the package JSON file and package log.json file. It means it can modify the versions and packages by installing. So it has a capability to write option. And also it has a capability to install individual dependency packages like this. So whenever it is needed, it can install independent libraries, packages like this. So that's the second difference, write option. Whereas coming to CA, it don't have an option like it can't independently install any of packages like this and also it can't directly write uh, it doesn't have any write operation on package json or package log.json so this is a second difference we have and coming to the third difference node modules whenever node modules is present already if install and those are present in this case node modules are already present so again if you are trying to do npm i then there won't be any changes. It will not reinstall the node modules again. It will does nothing because node modules are already exist. So in the case of NPM CI, even if the node modules are present also, it will first step, it will remove that node modules and will, it will take a fresh install. It will, at any point of time, it will take a fresh install and it will install the exact dev dependencies of package log.json. So this is the third difference regarding the node modules. So coming to the fourth difference, global packages. As we discussed, the NPM I has the ability to install. So it can install all the global packages as well. So in sense, we used to install with hyphen G uh, argument, and we can uh, give any of the package name which we need to install globally, not only to related to this particular project. If you need any package which you want globally to all the projects, then you, you can use this global hyphen G. But whereas to NPM CA, uh, there, this global package we can't install. We can't use hyphen G here. So that's a fourth difference. Coming to the fifth difference, if there is any mismatch, so if uh, when you're trying to use NPMI, if there is any mismatch between the dependencies in the package JSON and package log.json, this NPM used to pick the uh, character dependency and it used to reinstall if any uh, differences comes, mismatch differences comes, it used to auto install those differences. I mean, those dependencies would be auto installed if there are any differences or any mismatches. So coming to NPM CA, if there are any mismatches or uh, incompatible versions are available, it will throw an error. Immediately NPM CA will be throwing an error. So fine, we have learned uh, as many as the uh, differences. Uh, now we'll see where to use this NPM I and CA. During the development phase, every time we use, we need to use NPM I itself. So during the development phase, we need to use NPM install itself. So because uh, we used to add as on when, if we are needed any package or library during the time of development, we'll be using more number of dev dependencies. At that time, we it is not possible to, if, if you're using this CA, we can't individually load or uh, install and packages. So that's the reason we need to use NPM I. During the development phase, we, it's good to go with NPM I. So, the reason why we got this NPM CI is we can use this NPM CI continuous integration process 
if you are having in a pipeline continuous integration process where if you are using any tools like jenkins or uh, gitlab ci these uh, pipelines to automate your uh, devops activity though in that point you you should use npm ci command so this will make sure to install all dev dependencies and dependencies exact versions which are available in package doc.json so there come it it would be very huge plus it will there won't be any uh, mismatch in the differences between the mismatch in the application so exact package log json version would be installed if there is any mismatch it will raise a flag so these are few advantages so that we can be alert that there is some mismatch you know, to the package json and package log dot json and we need to we can recorrect so that's the best thing uh, npm ca can be given so also Uh, come back to the execution process when you are trying to install npm i and npm ca npm ca would be executed faster than npm i so hope you understand the video what all the all the differences we have for npm i and npm ca and uh, where to use this npm ca npm ca uh, finally concluding this point npm ca we can use this in the jenkins build jobs or uh, while while you are writing any docker file kubernetes file you can use npm ca it would be a faster execution when compared to npm i so thanks for watching hope you understand the video please subscribe for the more videos thank you